Oh, um, wheelbarrows, yeah, wheelbarrows. You know, they've come a long way, and boy, have I got some interesting wheelbarrows to show you today. Whoa, Nelly, this is a cool wheelbarrow, and I'll tell you why. It looks the same as any other one that you might buy. It's got a nice steel body. It's got steel handles that are strong as can be. This looks like a regular wheelbarrow, but it's got one distinct difference. It comes with a brake, a handbrake, that's just like the disc brake on your car. When you squeeze this handle, it actually operates a caliper that squeezes around a stainless steel pad on that wheel. Why is that important? If you're going down a hill with a big heavy load, the wheelbarrow won't get out of control. This is a really interesting wheelbarrow. This one looks almost the same as the one I just showed you with the brake, but it's different. It's got a plastic body, a plastic tub, and it's huge, eight cubic feet. That's an enormous amount of material that you can carry around with this wheelbarrow. But what else is the difference? Check this out. Look at the front end. It's got two wheels so that it's much more stable. It's really hard to tip this wheelbarrow over. You know, here's a really interesting wheelbarrow. This one, I'm convinced that it was designed and engineered by a woman, and I'll tell you why. This may look like a regular wheelbarrow, but there's a very important difference. Check out the location of the wheel in relationship to the actual body of the wheelbarrow. The wheel is back, and that's important because when you lift it up, most of the weight goes on top of the wheel instead of on your arms. Oh, you know, just talking about wheelbarrows makes me tired, much less working with them. Remember, if you're going to buy one this season, you may want to look at some of these new models. They may be exactly what you need. I'm Tim <sighs> Carter. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.